What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create Facebook ad campaigns using AI to help you speed up the whole process like a lot faster. This ChatGBT prompt that we came up with is going to help you create your targeting a lot faster. It's gonna help you write the words for your ads a lot faster as well. And it's just gonna give you the whole entire structure. Hopefully this is gonna blow your mind. So the ad that we're gonna help you create today is actually a top of funnel ad, meaning it's designed to go out and find brand new customers and pull them into your world. So that's the kind of ad that we're gonna create today. And let me go ahead and share my screen and let's get right into it. Okay guys, this is our AI prompt for Facebook ad campaign creation. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole entire prompt and then we're going to come into chat GPT. Now we would recommend that you use GPT-4, but you can also use GPT-3.5 depending on when you're seeing this video, something else might be out, but just do your best, use whatever you got, right? But what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and paste this prompt in and I want you to scroll all the way up to the very, very top of the prompt, Okay. Now, let me explain how this works. These are the, what we call custom values, right? These are the values that you're going to actually plug in values for, okay? So tomorrow's date, you're going to go ahead and plug in. And the reason why we do that is because you always want to run your ads. When you're launching your ads, you want to launch your ads for the next morning, okay? And we explained why that was in the other videos inside the top of funnel, okay? Do 8, 11, 2, 3, all right? And then you're going to put in your daily budget that you want to spend on this campaign. So let's just say it's 10 bucks a day. And then you're going to put in your business name. So our business name is Rich From Anywhere. You would put your business name in. And then you're going to put your product or service that you're going to be promoting with this ad. Okay. If you're selling a certain type of shirt, then you would put the name of the shirt. If you're selling a certain type of service, then you would put the name of the service. So for us, just for this example, I'm going to put in Facebook ads, marketing, mentorship, okay? Because that's what it is that we offer. The next thing you're going to see is a URL. This right here is so incredible because I want you to actually put the landing page where people are going to buy your product, okay? So, and what's going to happen is when you put that, that landing page in there, when you put that website URL ChatGPT is going to be able to actually go to that page and basically look at everything that's on that page and analyze what's going on on that page based off of the images, based off of the words. And it's going to kind of know what it is that you're promoting just by putting that URL in there, right? And I wanted to add this little nuance in here as well. If you attempt to put this prompt in and ChatGPT tells you that it can't pull information from landing pages, what you might need to do is add a plugin that will allow you to do that. You need to make sure that you're on ChatGPT Plus, and then you're going to come down to the left-hand side and then go to Settings and Beta, and then come over to Beta Features and then toggle on Plugins. This will allow you to actually add plugins to your ChatGPT account. And then once you've done that, go to this little button right here. Again, make sure that you're on GPT-4. And then go to this little drop-down that says Plugins. And you're going to find a plugin called WebPilot. And you'll check this just like that. WebPilot is going to allow you to browse data from different pages on the internet. And then pull that information into your search results. All right? So just wanted to add that little nuance in here. So for instance, I have our website pulled up. And I came over to the services section. So I'm going to come up to the very, very top and I'm going to copy the URL to this website. And as you can see, there's a lot of words in here that kind of tells people what it is that we do. We're a marketing mentorship for online entrepreneurs. We do Facebook ads. We do automation, SMS marketing. So ChatGPT is going to have a lot of stuff to kind of work with here. And what we're going to do is come back over to ChatGPT and I'm going to place that URL right in that little um, section right there. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your target audience. So for your target audience, you should know your target audience by now. But for us, I'm just going to keep it pretty basic on this one. Let's just say online business owners. Okay. And you'll put in your target audience right there. You can get as specific as you want to. And then the next one is, is audiences problems, right? Remember what we always say about business. All businesses at the end of the day are the same. They just solve problems. So what you need to do is figure out what kind of problems are you solving? Okay. So for us, the problems that we solve are not making money with Facebook ads, right? And there's a bunch of other ones 
that we can go into, but just for the sake of this example, I'm going to keep it real simple, but you can go in right here, right? You can write a couple sentences if you want to, right? Give chat GBT a lot to work with. The more information you give it, the better your results are going to be. Then you're going to put in the tone. And what I mean by the tone is, remember when you're creating your ads, you have to write words in your ads, right? So what kind of attitude do you want it to have? What kind of attitude or tone or style do you want? Do you want it to be funny? Do you want it to be witty? Do you want it to be serious? You would put that right here. So let me just do witty. Once you've actually created all these and you've filled out all these blanks, don't, fill, don't leave any of them blank. Do them all. What you're going to do is go ahead and hit enter. Let's watch ChatGBT do its magic. Okay. Now, look at this go, guys. This is so incredible. ChatGPT is actually creating the structure of all the details of your Facebook ad campaign. So let's just kind of let it do its thing for a second. And then I'll go back up and I'll explain everything that's happening right now. <laughs> this is so wild, by the way, guys. Like, I want y'all to know that the stuff that's happening right now in front of your face used to take people hours to do. It literally would take hours to figure out all the stuff that's happening right in front of your face right now. So cool. So ChatGPT is done. Now let me scroll back up to the top and let me break down what all of this is. The campaign level, okay? Right here, this is the campaign name. So what you're going to do is you're going to see that this is the Facebook ads marketing mentorship, TOF or top of funnel, and this is the date that I plan on launching this ad. So now the cool thing is, is now that I have this, I'm going to literally copy this. I'm going to come over to Facebook. And as I'm creating my campaign, I'm just going to follow ChatGPT's instructions. So I'm going to hit create campaign. I'm going to use sales. And then I'm going to click on this button right here that says name your campaign optional. And this is going to allow me to actually name this campaign. So for the campaign name, I'm going to paste in exactly what was in there. And then I'm going to hit continue. Now, this might pop up, and what I want you to do is actually hit manual sales campaign. And that means basically you want to control all the, uh, the elements. You want to control it. You don't want Facebook to just create the campaign for you. And hit continue. All right, cool. So now we're on the campaign level now. We've already put our name. We've already got sales selected. Now, the advantage campaign budget right here. If you come back over to ChatGPT, you'll see the campaign objective is sales conversions. We got that. And it says advantage campaign budget and it says on. Okay, so that's gonna remind you to turn this on. Cool. And now the next thing is the budget. So now right here, it says daily budget. And for this example, we said 10 bucks. So now you know, okay, cool. I'm gonna put in 10 bucks right here. Now the campaign level is done, easy. Now let's go ahead and hit next. When you hit next, it's going to take you to the second level, and this is the ad set level. So for all of this, you guys can refer to the other videos that we have that's talking about all of the different, the conversion events and stuff like that. But what you're going to want to do is optimize for purchases, or if you're a coach or a consultant, you're going to want to go ahead and put in a custom conversion. And we have another video that's dropping on that as well. So you can check that out if you need to know how to do that. But now we're going to scroll on down and we're gonna to come to the budget and the schedule. Now remember, we said that we're going to launch this tomorrow morning. So we're gonna change the start date to 11 and 7 a.m. Then we're gonna to come to the audience. Now, if you look at this, this is so incredible because now let's come down to the ad set level on ChatGPT. Remember how we said we wanted to split test three different audiences? Well, well ChatGPT actually gave us three different audiences with right here. So the first audience can be online entrepreneurs. And not only did it give us the name of the, the, uh, the audience, but it actually gave us targeting options. It gave us 10 targeting options that we can literally use right now. So what I want you to do is take this first line right here, audience. I want you to copy this and then I come back over to Facebook and up at the very, very top, I want you to name this ad set with that. I want you to paste it right in. So this is our online entrepreneurs. Now we're going to scroll back down and we're going to come down to the targeting. So the audience section, you don't have to worry about custom audiences. We would recommend doing us only unless you're shipping internationally. And then you're going to do an age range. If you know your age range, 
then you can go ahead and put that in there. If you want, you can keep it wide open. Same thing with genders. That's not what this video is about. We have other videos on that. So I'm going to skip past that and come to the detailed targeting. So now in this little section right here, this is where you actually put in your targeting options. So come back over to ChatGPT and you'll see, okay, I have online marketing is one. So you can highlight it, copy it, and then paste it in and you'll see online advertising. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do online advertising and then come back over and you're gonna say, okay, let's just do um, Facebook ads. I'm gonna copy this, come back over and there you go, Facebook ads, social, uh, that's Facebook. So what you'll notice too is that ChatGPT is not 100% up to date or accurate with some of these things. So you might put some of these targetings in and they might not be there as options inside of Facebook and that's okay, just go to the next one. Right. So digital advertising. Let's see if that one is is one. So that one isn't one either. So let's go to the next one. All right. E-commerce. Scroll back down. Let's replace this with e-commerce. And there you go. So e-commerce, retail, interest. Okay. Boom. So I'm not going to do all of these. You guys get the point. Right. Now, once you get down to that. Remember, you go to placements, you know, we have different strategies that you can use. We like to do manual placements a lot of the time. And again, I'm not going to go fully into this because we have other videos on this. Let's go on to the ad level. We're going to come back to this here in just a second. Let's go to the ad level. Now you see it has actually given you ad copy examples, right? So a lot of times we're, we're trying to think about what to say and it takes us forever to figure out what we want to say on our ad, right? Now you have a really, really good, strong uh, foundation to start with, right? And we've given you a multiple different options too. So this one is primary text short form. So if you want to write more of like a short type of ad, then this is what you can do. Struggling with Facebook ads? Let's turn that failure into success. Join our mentorship program today, act fast. Boom, got the link right there. So crazy. So Let's just say we're like, yes, I love that. You can literally just copy this, come back over to the ad level, the last level, the ad creative. You're going to make sure that your all your Facebook page and your Instagram page is all selected. And now if you scroll down, you'll see that this is the primary text. And this is where you're going to paste in your primary text, just like that. All right. Now, the reason why we give you long form is because sometimes if you're a coach or a consultant, maybe a long form kind of copy might work better, you know, kind of giving a little bit more details. So you'll see that this kind of give, it gives you an a expanded version of that. So it says, are you tired of not making money with Facebook ads? It's a pain we know well. Let us guide you with our Facebook ads mentor, marketing mentorship. So if you wanted to use that, then that's great. But I'm going to use the short form. Now, if you go back to Facebook, You'll see, like, obviously, you need to go ahead and add, like, an image or a video. We recommend video, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put in a video that's already here. And then when I'm done, boom, a video pops in here. And now you'll see my primary text that I just had, uh, just pasted in here, is right here at the top, okay? If you scroll down, the very next thing, so you put your primary text here, the very next thing that you need to put in is your headline. And the headline is actually what goes down here at the bottom of the video. And if you come back to chat GBT, you actually see that we actually gave you a headline right here. So turn ad failure into success. Boom. All right. And then you can literally just paste this in just like that. Turn ad failure into success. Boom. You didn't have to think about anything. Just you're literally copying and pasting. All right. And then this is your call to action. Now, the next after the headline, there's this thing called the description. And all the description is, it's almost like a sub headline. It's like something that will go right beneath it. It's optional. And we even put that inside of the description, right? So we, we literally say it's optional, right? So you could put that there if you want to, but however you want to do it. Now, by the way, you'll notice that we give you three different types of creatives, right? So what you could do now, like, let's just say that's the first one. And we can call this one um, video one. Now, remember how we said we were going to split test. This is what I would do. I would take this and I'd come over to the top little three dots right here and you can actually quickly duplicate. And what it's going to do is it's going to duplicate that entire ad that we just created. And now you'll see the one that says copy. 
And then you can literally just change this to video two and then come back down, keep the video the same exact video, but what we can do is we can change the primary text. So come back over to ChatGPT and now come to ad number two. And it says, losing money on Facebook ads, we've got the solution. Join now and see the results, right? So we can take that one, copy it, come back over to Facebook, paste that new one in, and there you go. Same thing with the headline, stop losing money on ads. Come back down, change it, change the headline right here. And now look, you have a completely different ad. It's the same video, but different words, right? Because again, you don't know which words are going to work the best. So that's how you split test. Now you can even do that again. So if you come back up to video two, hit these three dots and then hit quickly duplicate, you're going to see it's going to duplicate it again. And now you'll see video two copy. And I want you to do the same exact thing again. Video three, just like that. Come back down to the primary text. Come back over to ChatGPT and come down to add number three. And then it says fa Facebook ads failing. Let's change that today with our mentorship program, right? So it's all like little subtle switches and it's, it's a little bit different every time. So copy that, paste that in the primary text. Come back over to ChatGPT, grab the headline, which says profit from Facebook ads now. And we're going to replace the headline as well. Okay, cool. Now we have a completely different set of words for this one as well. So now check this out. You'll see now over here on the left-hand side, we have our campaign and we have our online entrepreneurs. And then attached to that, we have three different creatives, just like we talked about in the beginning of the video. Now, now that we have these three, these three creatives, the reason why I did those first is because now what I want you to do is come to the ad set level, come to the online entrepreneurs level and hit the three dots right there. And then hit quickly duplicate on that level. And what you're going to see now is that it's going to duplicate everything from that level and everything that beneath it that we created. So now we see online entrepreneurs copy. So come to that ad set level. And then we're going to come back up to the different ad sets. So the first one was online entrepreneurs. The second one was small business owners. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we're going to paste that inside of the ad set level right here. And now you'll see that it changed it. Look, we have online entrepreneurs and we have small business owners. Now I want you to come back down and all the targeting options that you have should still be there because remember, we just copied it from the last one, but I want you to go ahead and take these out. And when you take them out, I want you to replace them with the ones that are here, okay? So now we have, let's just make believe that you have all your targeting on this option right here and it's done. Now you're gonna do this one more time. You're gonna come up to the small business owners and you're gonna actually hit the three dots again and you're gonna quickly duplicate it again. And now you're gonna see it has now created a third option, okay? And now you see small business owners copy. So again, you're gonna come back over to ChatGPT and you're gonna say, you're gonna see marketing professionals. So you're gonna copy that and you're gonna come up to the top of the ad set name and you're gonna replace that with marketing professionals. And now you see it changes over here on the left-hand side. Once you've changed the name, scroll on down go to the targeting options. And remember, we're gonna, these are still gonna be here because remember, we copied it from the last one. Now you're just gonna take these out, just like that. And then you're gonna come back over to ChatGPT and look at the options that it gave you here. And just to say, for instance, this is exactly the way that you wanted it and everything was done properly. All you need to do is come up to the very, very top of this campaign. And then when you're at the campaign level at the very, very top, you can hit publish down here at the bottom. And when you hit publish, it's going to go into review and Facebook's going to review everything and make sure that it's compliant. And then once it gets approved, it will launch the next morning and your ads will start launching. So guys, that is how you run ads using AI to help you create your campaigns. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.